Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Battle Chasers Night War. Where Roman? Found a cathedral. How do you not go inside the cathedral, right? I'm sure, there's only be good things. No uh, secrets or anything, right? I mean, I guess Gully would be the good one to look for secrets here. We have never actually found any secrets in any of these, which means I'm probably missing something like really obvious. I just don't know what that is. Oh, look, a giant pool of blood. That's only disturbing, really. And something floating in the middle. That's totally normal and not to be suspicious of at all. Rusty at the top of the stairs, a mysterious pool of thick red liquid that appears to be blood. It laps and swirls gently, moved by some unknown force. In its center rests a vessel, intact and pristine, save for the blood stains at the base of it. I'm going to take the vessel. Yes, let's do that. Empty vessel of the hunger. Take the empty blood vessel... Turn with three ancient vampire slain. Don't we have three ancient vampire slain? I guess we've been using them, haven't we? Yeah, we've totally been using them. Okay, well, well, three vampire things we've been getting. We've we been getting ancient vampire things. Is that difference? Okay, nothing there. It's kind of weird we only did the fight once. There's only been one fight in here, and that's it. That seems a little suspicious to me. It was like the keeper? Maybe. Sure, we'll go this way. What the hell? Um, there is a lot to this, so sure. I mean, there could be vampires in here. Though, if so, they're being very reticent. Crafted during an ancient war, this mighty weapon was captured and disassembled to prevent further use. Parts of the cannon were used to construct a war golem, rumored for use by airship pirates. The energy shell was placed in an experimental duo of tanks used by bandits in the siege coast. Finally, the mineral used to stabilize its output is no longer manufactured. Only a fair paint stone for the matter rifts can stand as replacements. Okay. So that might be what we need for Brett's level 3 burst. All right. Yeah, Calamity might be what it's called. Red, dusty book on the shelf catches your eye. What do you do? Pull it, obviously. And of course, there's a secret entrance. Oh, to the freaking chest. Awesome. All right, that's great. Good spot. You totally passed your perception check. These pistols were commissioned by a bandit leader in Junktown who intended to use them as a means for solidifying his control of the various bandit factions. Before they could be completed, the gun that was designing them was found dead, likely assassinated. Recently, an effort was made by black market, by a black market group to finish and sell the pistols. Known as the Salvage Runners, they managed to gather most of the parts before infighting tore the group apart. The last known person to possess the components wrote to an associate, saying he was lost in an endless maze of hedges and freezing his plums off. Okay, so they're here. Red Monica is very, very interested. Destiny and Destroy. Oh, wait, don't we already have those? Hold up. Hold up. Okay, we just have the overcharged cannon, so that's not Calamity. What about... Sorry, what about Red Monica? Now she has the Thunderforge pistols. I thought for sure she had... Okay, okay. I don't suppose there's anything about... Uh, Garrison's weapon. That's it. Here we go. Not much has been recorded about the history of this, we this weapon, save for its extreme power, which it draws from an unknown source. The blade is long missing, or presumed stolen or destroyed. Infusing a specially attuned blade with the spirit of powerful warriors is said to awaken the cursed blade, summoning its power. One such spirit was a champion arena fighter who defeated all challengers in mortal combat. Another was seen wandering the roads near the southern wilds, being trapped or tricked in a gate he could not traverse. You know, I'm thinking... They're telling us this. Maybe we need to go get these? Especially if this is the last area, which we can't look at on the map yet, but... When we get back outside, we can totally look. Winking Ring and Soul Forge Casing. Those sound good. 
All right, so let's look at the ring. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really good for Brett. Really good for Monica. And really good for Garrison. All right, so... I mean, the haste goes down. Yeah, down on haste kind of sucks. But who would we want this on, then? Well, if it's for the defense... Defense up, bonus damage up, stamina up. I kind of want it on Monica. Because she has the less, least health out of all these guys. This would even her up a little bit. Though, she's been evading for the most part, so she probably doesn't really need it. Brett could use it. I don't know. Monica, we should put her on par. I hate to drop her haste down, but at least it doesn't drop her evade. Alright. Alright. And then, of course, Brett is the only one who can actually take the, uh, the armor. Alright, drops his attack power, but really, we mostly just heal with it. So, boosting all this sounds like a pretty good idea. Boost his stamina, so he's going to be about on par with Garrison, I think. Oh, pretty close, yeah. Actually, he's above, but he'd be fully healed. Alright, sure. Sure. We don't have anything else here, right? Okay, we can do the necklaces, but... Eh. I mean, the stamina is good. Keep boosting the stamina. Yeah, Brett can just keep getting attacked. But then his attack power goes way down. The crit goes down, but Garrison's our crit god. Now, uh, what about this one? Now, yeah. now if we're going to do any of them, this is not a bad choice. Red Monica, what are you using? Alright, the Chan Mithril Caller. Yeah, but that increases your evade. I really think you should have evade. And we want you to have your crit chances, so don't do that. But Brett could do this. The Darker Nap is probably the better one. Yeah, the bonus damage is nice, but... Wow, look at that. Now Brett's in 4,000 range. Alright, is there anything we can do for Garrison to make that better? I don't know if that's anything here. Let's see. Obviously the Mithril Gorgit you already have. Um, no, not that one, definitely. Not that one. And then the Trinkets, the Darker Branch, is the only thing we have there. Yeah, I mean, if we could just boost his crit for everything. Alright, we'll, we'll keep a lookout. Keep a lookout. Alright, so if we want those weapons, we've got to go track down those spots. Oh, okay. That's the door. Oh. Um, Alright, looks like we're at the end of the world. I th it looked for sure like the passage continued there. That's my excuse. It's very dark in here. It's also my excuse. It's on the other side, right? Oh, hello. You all alone? You are all alone. Alright, well, we have to try out our new abilities here. Um, no. Flame Burst, probably totally unnecessary. Don't need to do that. I mean, he does have 4,600 health, so that's a little disturbing. This is not going to be the easy one-two punch we usually do for one, one-offs. He's also a vampire ghoul, not an ancient vampire. I don't know if that matters. Well, never any miss for everybody. Definitely need to overcharge. I'd rather not use any magic here. Okay, poison solid. And I wanna make the bleed too. Okay, the evade really could have been helpful there, Monica. You just, you know, pay attention to what you're doing here. But if you're not going to pay attention, then here, have a... Have a rolling health. 
Okay, so you have a ton of overcharge right now, so... Rally Strike? You just go straight slash. Yeah, increases crit chance. Let's go for it. And... I don't know, Basilisk Shot? Seems silly. Exploit Weakness? No, because that deals... I keep wanting to exploit Weakness when these guys are alone. That does not help. Death Blossom sounds awesome. Execute sounds better. Drops you a little bit down the turn order. He does get to go first. Repost if you're attacked, maybe, but I think Execute's probably... 915 at least drops you down to maybe below 3000 if it grits. Let's try it. Prep. Yep, he prepped. Got our crit up. Wow, he's just going hard on one there. That is not 30. Okay, there we go. 2600. He's down to half. Well, not quite half, but close. Okay, so. She already has a heal on her, so I think we go for the cannon blast, right? Drops you way down turn order. Better option here. Guy is fist. Anyone who attacks him gets healed. Not for a lot, but still. That's okay, but I think. Guy's fist here. Cleansing rain. He hasn't actually poisoned anybody or made them bleed or anything. So let's do a guy's fist. And you still have abilities, so let's rally strike. Help everyone haste a little bit. Wow, just going for Monica. Alright. Monica, you need to punch him a lot. In order to get healed. Um, so that actually would have been great for execute, maybe, but. We could assassinate here. Creeping death's not bad either. Sure, we'll go ahead and do this. <laughs> Wonder if giving her more stamina might actually be a good idea. I mean, she is significantly lagging behind everybody else, right? Yeah, I mean, she's clearly the weakest of the group, unfortunately. Uh, obliterate's not too bad. If he's poisoned, takes an additional damage. Sure. And. Warblade's not a bad idea. Just drop you way down the turn order, though. Is a better way? Yeah, slashes. Slashes may be better. Siphon, but... I think that only heals you. Okay, that's a little slow. Impale is solid, but... Oh, that's some good damage right there. We should never use that. The target is centered or poison, also has a bleed. Sure, I guess. Faint. Now, I think Slash might be best. Just straight up damage. Let's do it. Okay, we're getting there. He's gonna prep, though. And Monica. Yeah, every time. I mean, I already used a burst, Monica. You're just the target for some reason. So, if you're the target... Actually, we can make you not the target. Um, Fade Strike's probably the best way to see if we can do that. Yeah, there we go. Now she's still. She can't be the target anymore. Unless he does an AoE, which I don't think he has. Well, I hope he has, I guess. Okay, so Healing Wave here. Heal her for a thousand health. He's poisoned. I'm pretty sure we can kill him. But I don't want to kill him until... Yeah, I don't want to kill him yet. Because I want the heal to proc. Um, but if he attacks either one of the other guys, we're actually in okay shape. So, unless he does something amazing. Which I guess is possible. 
Warblade's not a horrible idea. Okay, yeah, that could work. That's after the heal. Alright, that was not so bad. Okay, she does have counter. But I think that's not going to proc until after the heal, right? That's just before. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, yeah, we'll drop you down here to execute. I don't think it's necessary. No, no, it's after he goes, though. So. Death Blossom? Everything's after he goes, so it's either after or before. It's either after the Vampire or before Garrison. Are you kidding me right now? Lightning Reflexes, which doesn't matter at all. Okay, there we go. I bet after Garrison goes, chances are she's not going to actually do anything, but sure. Okay, well that healed her up. And the Garrison finishes him off. That was a solid crit. Okay, do we get an Ancient Vampire Fang? It's just a regular Vampire Fang. Yeah, that's not ancient. Okay. Ha. Huh. So... We're supposed to come back to this, probably. This isn't creepy at all. The wick on the ceremonial candle looks oddly thick and filled with some strange protective material. Oh, we have the Fire Lord's Ember, so let's totally light that. Fire Lord's Ember sears the protective material and lights the candle. Watch his flame dance almost hypnotically gentle for a few moments before turning away. So, that probably did something, we just don't know what. This looks like a prayer or ritual book. Whenever your hand moves near it, the runes on the book's fine glow. The nearby scroll indicates some sort of incantation needs to be read when the incense burns. Well, um, hold on. You'd like this one first? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now that the incense is burning on both sides. Open the book. There you go. When the incense is burning, you are able to, e able to easily open the book. Able to easily open the book. My enunciation needs work. I know. Once open, you copy relevant parts of it you find useful. Treasure map fallen devotee and greater tome of knowledge. Already then. Well, good thing we had the Fire Lord Ember. Though, I think you're supposed to have it at this point. How would you get here without... Yeah. I don't know. Argus Hollowed Bulwark. Okay, symbol of hope and protection. She went missing after Argus died, though his body was interred in the Red Grave. Okay, this is... This is a shield for Alamon. So, we don't care. I mean, it's good lore, don't get me wrong. But, we don't care. So, upstairs we go. Ragnarok, said to be the deadliest weapon a mage could wield. Alright, so this is for Nolan. Alright, so they're just telling us basically, hey, you know those weapons that you really, really want to get because they're awesome and very, very powerful? Here's where they are. And Dragonkind, which is the gauntlets from Draconic Components. All right then. Versus says long spoke of dragon skilled somewhere in the far north sealed under lock and key. Fighting would be instant fame and fortune for any trader. All right. Um, he was entombed in dead watch after his death, taking the heart with him to his grave. Did we get the dragon heart? I don't remember that. I mean, I guess it's possible, but I don't remember it. Seems like dragon heart would have been something I would have mentioned, right? Okay, so that's it. They're basically just telling us these are all the things you need. And that's good to know. And we should probably chase them down. That's it, right? So then we just leave. Okay, yeah, we can leave the area. So, well, we were mentioning that Garrison probably should get his level 3 burst. Which means we need to go to the arena. 
you know, we haven't been to the arena since, well, we first saw it, really. There's a teleporter right there, and we do have to do a fight to do it. It's a wave fight, too. That shouldn't be too bad. I think we can take it. Let's do it. Okay, ice slimes. Yeah, we hate these guys. You say this should be easy. We don't actually know how much health these guys have. This can be tough. Okay, well, Nervity missed helped us out a lot, so let's keep going. Do not be afraid to use magic here. We can totally rest at the end. Okay, that chill hurts anybody who attacks it, right? Okay, so basically he just put on Iron Flash, effectively. Yeah, it didn't seem to attack, hurt anybody who attacks it. It just seems to be a thing. Okay, so... I don't know, man. Cleaved? Or Slash? Either one of those. How fast? Uh, okay, they're both pretty slow. Siphon seems a little bit silly. Okay, Bleed could work. All in for 130, which is small. But bleed to each. 760 over 5 turns, so that's like 100 something damage for bleed. That's not terrible. This one does about the same thing. So is that faster? It is faster. Rupture is faster. Well, then, rupture it is, right? Oh, I see. It's only for one. This is only for one. That's actually pretty solid. It's the impale. Okay, sure. Immediate piercing. Let's do it. And ambush, I think. It's the right thing to do here. Let's focus. If it turns out to be unnecessary, then that's fine. We'll know. No. Okay. And Obliterate, I guess. Just focus fire here. Oh, so close. If he had a bleed on him, he'd totally be dead. Alright, sure, hit Garrison with that. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, Monica is more of a problem, especially with that freaking crit. Alright, take this guy out. Thank you. Okay, one down, one to go. Well, and then the next wave. Um, you should probably heal. Oh, wait. Cleanse? We could burst. The burst would heal and cleanse. Yeah, it's only a level one burst. What the hell? What the hell? Uh, you are not cleansed of the chill? Excuse me? I thought for sure that counted as a debuff. So, that was a waste. I could have just healed instead. That would have been better. Alright, well, so much for that. Good crits, good poisons. Gonna prep? Yep, still prepping, okay. And Warblade? Whoa, way, way down the freaking turn over. Slashes at least straight up damage and increases your crit, so go for that. You can attack. You can attack. Okay, spread the damage around, giving everyone chill. Well, you know what? Everyone needs to chill. I agree with that. Wildfire. Yeah, I mean, you could heal yourself, too. Gaius Fist is probably the best one to do here, because that'll heal everyone, theoretically. You have enough burst now that... Oh, Basil Shot. Yeah, that'll make him lose his turn before he actually gets to go. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, and then, sure, let's do Warblade. So he doesn't get to go. Warblade happens. And there we go. That was it. Nice. Next wave. Eventually, it's going to happen. Hello, Bat. And, okay. Rockman. Um, both these guys are bad. Blood Elemental doesn't sound good. 
So Ice Bat probably chills. Blood Elemental, I would guess, would do... Siphon? Very likely, yeah. Like, every time he attacks, he gets healed or something like that. Alright, so... I mean, who to go first? I have no idea. Could use level 2 Burst here and flame these guys to death. Well, so anyone... If, yeah, Ignite might not be a bad idea here. We got an idea how much health the bat has. I think you critted twice there. Okay, and that's a lot of, uh, oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Fortunately, since you critted, we do have that perk that makes it so that every time they crit against us, Brett gets a heal. It's a small heal. And but three turns of 134 it's not nothing. Okay, so I think your best move right here is Spade Strike. This increases your evade if it doesn't actually make you stealth. And then I think we just try to take out the bat. Could heal. Yeah, let's do the song. All allies. Takes way down the freaking turn order, but so it goes. Okay, the heal I think was the right thing to do. Fade strike, although you are poisoned right now, so no, not fade strike. You should do the counter. Repose, whatever you want to call it. Happens after he goes. Yeah, okay. Wow, just beating up Brett. What the hell? That wasn't nearly as much damage as I thought it was going to be. That was more like a fade strike. Come on. Come on, Monica, what are you doing? Okay, Ignite and Poison should take him out. This should heal us to, yeah, almost full. And now it's just the uh, Blood Totem, wherever the hell you are. Okay, another Ignite, solid. We have plenty of mana here, overcharged for abilities. You know what? I think Impale. Let's go Impale. And we have plenty of stuff here too. Let's do a Cannon Blast. A little down the turn order, but a decent amount of damage. Wow! Wow! Fifteen hundred damage. That is insane. That is totally nuts. Um, what do you have? You can Basilisk shot this guy. That's not a terrible idea, especially on the last turn. Let's do it. It's gonna be the last turn, because there's no way this guy's living. Okay, and yeah, cannon shot took him out. Yep. So the fast of the shot was just to make sure if that cannon shot took him out. Okay, Garrison's a little hurt. He's a little hurt. He's down to half. Tainted Dawnstone. Sounds awesome. Okay, let's go to the arena. We can probably take him out. I mean, the arena might not even be an issue anymore. Uh, where was that? That was... I think here. Alright, so take that wonderful bit of collectible. We don't care about this guy, but here, we should be strong enough now. You have returned. Yeah, it's just been a while. It's been like, I don't know, 30 episodes? I have no idea. The winds have carried word of your trials in the island. You certainly make your mark quickly. Does this mean we can try the arena? I have no reason to stop you. Enter and may you fare well. Are you ready? Alright, let's fight. Let's do it. So, I think we can take on Veteran. Because it says level 21. We're not elite yet, but... Oh, this is how you're supposed to grind. You're not supposed to do the dungeons over and over, maybe? Yeah, the intent might be to come here. We have totally been not doing that. 
Well, I mean, we can totally take veteran stuff, right? Level 21 stuff? Sure, do it. Let's see what we got. Ice Bat, Rattlebone, Grave Spider. This, actually, we should be able to conquer this pretty damn easily. Oh, no, though, this is a wave. This is four waves. Holy shit. Oh, and we're timed. Did not realize we were timed. All right. All right. So we can't think about this too long. You know, just take the bat out. Uh, no, we should probably focus on the rattle bone, huh? Yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. Okay. Do that. Then they get to go. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, we should definitely heal Garrison. But... Yeah, oh, there we go. So he got Arcane sick. He's just going to rattle, probably. Yep. Okay, that's not so bad. It's not so bad. Let's do a Rage Wave here. Deals decent damage to everybody. You should probably heal everybody here. And you can resting here. Okay, they all get to go. But again, I'm not too worried. Yeah, a little bit of damage. That's okay. I mean, 236 doesn't sound like a whole lot, but or doesn't sound like a little bit. Nice. Bat's almost dead. Bleed might actually take it out. Almost completely healed. Bat's down. Then he comes down with the spider. He's dead. All right, great. We are almost full up on overcharge for, well, Brett and Monica anyway. Oh, Ice Elemental looks cool. Alright, you know what's good against Ice Elementals? Fire. I'm guessing. I don't actually know. Seems reasonable though, right? That's taking like one extra point of damage compared to the other guy. So maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, then Rally Strike this guy. Well, uh, that's... I mean, the Arcane six bad, but that's not terrible. Um, how about a Basilisk shot this guy? No. This guy's dead. Oh, wow. Okay, interesting. Almost got him out. Um, how about... Ah, uh, the guy's fist isn't gonna work. We just gut punch, but that seems like a waste. Have a wildfire here. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Took out the infused motivator and did damage to the ice elemental. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, then we just focus on this guy. And okay, Sunder solid. He gets to go. Oh nope, he's dead. <laughs> Hey, it's good stacks, good stacks. Down the third wave already. Eventually, you know, when they let us. Oh shit, man, two hangmen? Are you serious right now? Okay, um, how fucked are we here? <laughs> this is not good. Rally strike, I guess we just focus on the first guy and... Oh yeah, that sucks. And then doom on top of it, I hate you so much. Are you actually kidding me right now? We gotta purge it, man. We gotta purge it right now. Here, I think this would be the easiest thing in the world. It turns out not so much. Um, yeah, creeping death on this guy, too. So I probably should have saved my purse, damn it. Didn't even think about it till now. Well, Monica does have cleansing bombs, so that could be okay. Um, Warblade. And... Cannon Blast. Yep, that hurts. We need to be healing pretty soon. Um... And, you know what? Ambush. What the hell? Ah! 
It's that constant tick damage. Everyone's down by a bit here. Okay, well, anything ignited maybe helps. He is down to half, which is something. Um. Probably striking. Of course, more doom. Why wouldn't you have doom? Okay, I can't. Oh no, I can totally burst now. Yeah, purify. Which heals? But the doom is definitely gonna cause some problems. Oh, look at that. Fresh doom. Fresh pot from the kitchen. Alright, you gotta get rid of that. Cleansing bomb right now. There we go. No more doom for us. Oh no, except he wants more doom. Okay, well... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I guess Monica will have to take care of it. So, Rally Strike. And... The Hangman's so close. Brett can't take care of it. It's gotta be Monica. Yeah. Okay, we gotta take out... We gotta take out this guy. So close. Garrison can take care of this away. Oh no, the poison did it. The poison did it. Thank you. Okay, Monica, you gotta take care of the doom. Thank you. Okay, well now let's we're not totally wrecked. Um, how about a guardian song for everybody? And then hurt this guy as much as humanly possible. Up our crit chance. Uh, well, he missed the first one, which proc counter, so we should definitely use it. Post. That did not look all that good. I mean, it did sunder. But that could have been better. Alright, um, we could burst up you, but I think instead we'll just sting you. He is gonna cast Doom, it's gonna happen. Yep, casting Doom, what do you know? We're going to burst now, though. Yeah, but... Brett should really heal Monica here, so I think instead Monica's going to go for the Cleanse Bomb. And then Garrison... Or, sorry, Brett, you're going to have to heal her. Okay, that's solid. That actually puts us in a really good spot. Okay, so then... Do have the ability. Yeah, give me some more rally strike here. Doom again, because he loves his doom. He loves his doom. His doom is his favorite ability. Which is fair. I mean, if I had doom, I would totally use it too. Oh, good crits, good crits. In case you don't know, doom wastes three turns and deals like 2,000 damage or something stupid like that. We can never let it go off. We should probably do an everything missed here. Everyone needs the overcharge. We still have another wave to go. This guy just takes so long to whittle down. As ah, damn. He's bleed. We got some decent overcharge there. That's nice. Come here, sting. Oh, good stuns. Yeah, dropping down the trumper. He can't do doom if he's stunned. Cannon blast this guy. Hit him hard with everything we got. Okay, that was decent. So close to death. Actually, he might just die. Well, he's gonna die now. Yeah, look at that. All those stacks, he's dead. Right, well, we took some damage, but now he's dead. Right, that was tough. I hate the hangman. I mean, two hangmen. Those are basically mini bosses. Oh, and hey, look at this mini bosses again. Are you kidding me? All right, all right, all right. Um, I think the first thing we gotta do is Guardian Song kill everyone up to full. And Sting, I guess. If I get some overcharge, that was actually great. And I think what you try to do is Fade Strike. Though, that's not gonna matter. The stealth isn't gonna, yeah, it's not gonna work. She gets knocked out immediately of it. Okay, worth a shot, though. 
Wow, okay. Wow, all right. Both down to 800. That's why we wanted to heal everyone. Didn't quite undo what they were doing there, so... I mean, it came close, though. Probably strike here is not a bad idea. I want to do ambush. It's still not a bad idea. I would prefer to do the maximum damage, but that's not going to happen. He is bleeding. He spreads a bleed to other enemies. Okay, sure, why not? Let's hope the haste up would make that work. We didn't. Okay, he's going to reap again. It's going to be bad. Oh no, he's doing Okay. Um, we should first get out of this, right? Okay, yeah, that heals too. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, now he reaps. Cares. Hurts, definitely hurts. Okay, he's still doing okay. If you're alive. Yeah, cause him to bleed. What the hell? Use it first. Oh, good crits, good crits. That was a solid crit. Okay. Um. Oh, I thought she had repost. I thought she had counter up so we could repost. Apparently, that's not true. Uh, how about we basil a shot though? Yeah, that'll prevent him from doing his turn. You have got to heal somebody here. Um, heal Garrison. Oh, look, Doom. Okay, good. He's stunned and poisoned. Heal Prox. Thank you, Garrison. Thank you, Brett. Unfortunately, we still have Doom up. Monica might be able to take care of it. Or we just, just take the damage. Turns remaining two. Yeah, we could be in a world of hurt here. Um, you have you have an ability here. I'll let you go for slash. It's not gonna kill him, but I don't think anything would, so we might as well increase our crit chance. And you are going to use the cleansing bomb. No! The Doom proc? What the hell happened? Oh no, just the standard damage from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I mean, we gotta do this because we gotta get rid of the Doom. Unfortunately, that did not wake her up. I think we have to use an item to wake her up. Revival Flask, there we go. Okay. That hurts. He's gonna reap as well. Who's he gonna reap? Ouch. Okay. Yeah, you're injured. No kidding. No kidding. Gotta heal Garrison again. Speaking of Garrison, he can go for the Warplade, which is way down in the control order. Is there anything good here? Piercing? Yeah, Bloodbath, maybe. Rupture. It's the thing is, it's over five turns. We do not want these guys to last that long. I think we Warblade just drops you. Everything drops you down except for Slash. I think we just stack the slashes. Okay, the Sunder is decent, I guess. That means this Slash is no damage. Oh wow, he's he's gonna die. He's dead. He is totally dead. So now we focus on the other guy. Oh, really? That's a little close, but I'm glad we healed him. Alright. Um, can I knock you out? I think I can, yes. And then... I think for now, I think we just want to go for the Swift Strike. Or the sting. Hey, Garrison, you've got to heal this guy. 
Okay, good. So that'll give us time to heal. And it's the last bad guy. We should totally be able to take him on in five minutes, right? Seems reasonable. Especially if we stack the first. And a solid crit. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. Um, hmm. Faster shot's not going to work anymore. Stealth would be nice, but it's not actually going to work either. I don't know. I think... Whoops. I think instead we just Fade Strike here. Purely for the evade, if nothing else. And then we need to heal, like, everybody right now. So here you go. Heal... Yeah, heal her. And... Rally Strike. Oh, what do you know? Doom. Doom, you say? Huh. Monica really needed to heal, though. Yeah, there we go. Almost up to full. Then, guess what, Monica? Cleansing Bomb, of course. What else? He's probably gonna reap. Yep, he's reaping. Alright. Uh, heal yourself there, Brett. And... Slash, I suppose. Could try a Basilisk shot, but it's not gonna matter too much. Distracting shot may have to heal to her. It's a lot of damage on her. It's dangerous as all hell. I don't like it. Yeah, it's too execute. Okay, hurts, but not as bad as it would hit Monica. And he's healed himself anyway, so big deal. Basically undid all your damage. So close. Can we do 400 damage before his next turn? No. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. If Brett doesn't go for the heal, he just goes for a simple attack. This should kill him. It's a cleave, though. Is there a better way to do this? Oh, Slash will work, too. That's actually more damage. So that's great. Yes. And then the Sunder will definitely help. So, yeah, do this. Nice. Nice. Okay. That worked. Wait a minute. What do you mean, phase one? What do you mean, phase one? We still have two minutes. We only have two minutes, rather. There's another freaking wave. I was not made aware of this. I thought it was just the four. Just the four. Um, here, I guess we'll assassinate the motivator. <laughs> and then you've got to destroy this guy. That's only a Sunder. Well, that's alright. We should be able to take it out. There you go. Okay, well that gave them attack up. That could be bad. She is stealth now, though. So, you know what? Ambush time. What the hell? And you should heal everybody now. It's gonna take a while to get there, but it'll be worth it in the end. Um, you need overcharge, so stay. That's not so big of a bite. I was expecting worse. Wow, that was a good crit. Alright, solid heal. Probably need to do that again. Alright, so this guy steals health every time he bites someone. But, you know, poison him, setting on fire. Definitely slow him down. Time to do an Irving Mist, but really, in their Guardian Song. Yeah, both Brett and Garrus need to heal. And just... Yeah, simple attacks. He's gonna bite somebody, he's gonna heal him. Okay, didn't heal him all the way, though. That's not so bad. That could have been a lot worse. He is stunned, which helps. Be funny if, as a blood slime, he got identified by his blood as one of our allies. That'd be pretty horrible. I'm glad that's not what happened. Okay, one more hit will take him out. 30 more seconds. I don't think we're going to be able to take out the next wave. 
here I thought we just had to beat the four waves, but no, it's just however long you can go, I guess. Okay, I mean, this is a whole bunch of problems. First Warden is not going to be easy at all. Can we just wait out the time? Yeah, let's go for it. We don't need the Innervating Mist, but... I mean, we're actually doing okay. We've got a decent amount of health. A little less now, but still. And that's it. Okay. And yeah, sure enough, we get experience for all this. So yeah, this is probably the intended way to grind. It's just however long you can go. Okay, I mean, those look like a lot of good stuff. Huh. The thing is, how does that help Garrison? Probably have to go to a certain level or something? I don't know. Nothing good here. That's actually horrible. Red Rusty Blade is pretty bad. Artifact Blade is also pretty bad. Okay. Um, what about... Yeah, the ring, I think, is exactly the same. Plus Gold Finder. So what? Yeah, if we get any crit trinkets, that'd be good. But otherwise... I don't think any of that stuff... Any of that stuff might have been low level. Alright, anyway, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. This has been Battle Chasers Night War on PC Universe here, PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.